Hey, good Thursday morning, everyone. If you didn't win the Powerball last night, Jim Cramer is here on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange to help you make a lot of money in the stock market. Jim, you got your more than these. You're this losing called, tickets. This is called a rip up for those of us who like the racetrack. <laughs> and you saw it right here, everyone. <laughs> Jim, let's start off with a retail lightning round. These are earnings you called better than feared. Right, Aber TF. <laughs> Abercrombie and Fitch. Yeah. Okay, look, uh, that was Hollister making a major move. Uh, this company finally has a CEO, seems to know what, uh, to, what, how to do retail, and that's a big change. Sears. Uh, look, Sears is, the comparable stores numbers are horrendous, but it doesn't matter, they put out positive commentary. The thing to notice there is that the Amazon Kenmore deal is now operative in California, and Eddie Lampert will just talk about that endlessly. All right, how about Michaels? Michaels is better than expected, even though the comp stores weren't up that much, but it was experiential, it was omnichannel, and it had perceived value. Burlington stores. Uh, this was one that Matt Boss has been saying over and over again was going to deliver. I believe that had this company reported and then TGX reported, TGX would be the one that is at 90 or at least 80. So TGX is a buy off of Burlington. And Signet Jewelers with a share buyback. Yeah, right. Signet Jewelers did the share buyback. They bought back 12%, which is why the earnings per share looks so good. But I also like the revenues. There's a new CEO who's come in and replaced another CEO who is very challenged on the ethics side. And it looks like the numbers are already turning. Uh, every kiss begins with Das Kapital. <laughs> All right, how about Dollar Tree? Uh, Dollar Tree was, you know, I, I didn't understand why Dollar Tree was down so much, but it's one of my favorite stores. I have a great one in Hampton Bays. It, without a doubt, this is a company that if it turns around Family Dollar, you're going to be paying maybe 20% more than this because Dollar Tree had a good number. Remember, that's not just perceived value. They do come in under Amazon. I really like it. And Jim, you buy sunglasses, candy at Dollar Tree. What else? Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, uh, you know, last time I, I, I bought balloons, they have a great, uh, you know, they blow up the balloons for you and they really do a terrific job. You always have to check the candy side because you see the boxes are actually smaller. Uh, but they have cow tails, and it's very hard to find cow tails, and they are by far the best, and everybody knows that who's a candy aficionado. I'm a member of the candy club, and, and so I know where I speak. Everyone loves cow tails. All right, Jim, let's also talk about PVH. You had Manny Tariq yeah, go Manny, on. Yeah, Manny delivered. Now, this is because he made a bold move and to go into Europe when everyone else was leaving Europe. That's sometimes what you have to do in a crisis, and that's a boy, Calvin Klein, which was Warnico, at, at, what a lot of people thought was the top. He had to sort through that business, but now it's on fire. Uh, they're also using Omni Channel. They've got, used, they have tremendous uh, pull, pull through in Amazon and tremendous pull through in Alibaba, which mm. is a stock I still like. I see people shorting it. I don't get the short case. It's been wrong now for 90 points. Uh, Manny has still got more than 50% of his business in America in department stores, but he is taking share. I think he's taking share, by the way, from the private label players mm. that make so much money for the department store. So this is a win-win for Manny. Everybody else, just so, uh, just so, just so. All right, and you talk about that dynamic in real money this morning, so yes. check that out. And Jim, you mentioned Europe. We obviously have Mario Draghi speaking on Friday. What are you expecting? Yeah, well, you know, Mario Draghi is not going to do this, but what they should start talking about is how they, they've won. Sometimes it's worth declaring victory and just saying, you know what, we've done really well. Europe's come back, their PMIs are better than us, their growth's better than us. Manny, so, uh, for referencing PVH, sells a huge amount of Tommy Hilfiger and Calvin Klein in every single one of these European countries that we thought was on the ropes. Not only are they not on the ropes, but they're doing better than the United States. I say that because both the department stores uh, that sell their stuff and freestanding stores are doing so, so well. Jim, I also want to talk about some earnings that were not so great. We had Hormel and coffee was pretty bad for Smucker. Yeah, Smucker, it's amazing how you could uh, have a 25% decline in, uh, in, in coffee. Uh, the pet food wasn't that good either. Smucker's really challenged. Uh, classic food company that's doing quite poorly. Uh, and and I, I don't really see much hope there. Hormel got hurt by two things, the Genio Turkey, turkey prices. Uh, looks like there must be some sort of turkey shortage developing. And then they bought Muscle Milk, which at the time boosted the stock, but I'm now believing it was a little more or faddish. They should have bought Kambuka or Kambucha, depending upon whether it's East or West Coast. All right, Jim, speaking of food, the FTC approving the Amazon Whole yeah, Foods deal. I don't deal. know why people thought that they wouldn't. The FTC favors lower prices. They're worried about that Rite Aid Walgreens because they think that the Rite Aid is, that, that are spun off are going to go under. That's People thought that this could be a similar situation. Oh, please. Whole Foods, uh, we just have to hope that Walter Rob comes mm. back. If Walter Rob comes back, then you're going to love the Whole Foods experience. All right, and Jim, we'll end with a tech name, HP Inc. Well, you know, you're going to end by always asking me about companies that report tomorrow. Ah, yes. Right. Well, uh, HP Inc. reported terrific numbers. People did not understand it. I think that some people were thrown off by the fact that DRAM prices continue to climb or, or stay high. That's something that 
they need lower. The thing that I, I reference here and why I really like the story is 3D printing. A lot of people were all over the place on uh, the various 3D printing companies that I really I don't even want to mention for fear that once again people think I'm actually thinking of them. But, uh, but a triple D, so to speak. But uh, their 3D printing has taken off in Asia. When it, it will take off here, this will be known as a 3D printing company that also does personal computers and printing supplies. Pretty amazing. All right, and then talking about earnings to watch, it's a pretty yes. quiet day, but Big Lots is reporting Friday. Yeah, Big Lots is a company that if you put that, you, you think about it, they're in the, in the Burlington cohort, the TGX cohort, uh, the Dollar Tree cohort, the Michael's stores cohort. Michael's is more craft, but it should mean that they have a good quarter. I don't like shopping there, but perhaps I ought to just check it out again. You know, I was thinking that you could probably buy five below, but they had that that snapper, you know, the thing that goes round and round. I was looking at Breitbart. They have one for Steve, for uh, for Bannon if you want to buy one. I guess Bannon. I now watch that site because I know he says he's going to be bigger than ever, and so I check out anybody that's bigger than ever. Wow. All right. Well, we'll have to keep watching it. Jim yeah. Kramer, thank, thank you, you so much as always. For more information on the stocks Jim mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.